Okay, welcome back. Um, another pickups video. Uh, uh, gratitude to my friend Graham for uh, supplying me with all of these. Um, he's got tons of Spectrum stuff. It's brilliant. Um, so I'm going to go through each of them. I will be playing them and doing videos of them at some point. Um, adding them to the list of things, uh, uh, projects I've already got to do. And we we'll start off first with Gunship from Microprose. Now I was uh, aware of the game, never ever played it. Um, really good condition box. Uh, it looks like it takes a year to learn how to play it. That's the instruction manual. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And we have got other odds and sods in here. Don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Uh, action simulated. Excitement is real. There's various um, registration cards for warranties. Ah, what's this thing? Come on. Out you come. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, right, okay. A list of passwords for things. A keyboard overlay and the two tapes. That's really a nice package. Um, obviously, once you've read that uh, instruction manual, you'll be able to fly a real helicopter gunship. I exaggerate, of course. Uh, what do we have up next? We've got Pro Tennis Tour. Um, sealed. The Ultimate Tennis Simulator. I'm not familiar with this game at all. It's a very early Ubisoft uh, title. Obviously, those behind uh, Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell, etc. I shall hunt that down on Spectaculator and World of Spectrum and give that a go. So I'm not familiar with that game at all. We've got Mega Hits from Bo Jolly. Uh, yep, and what are the Mega Hits in? Star Strike, great game. Blue Thunder, I don't know. Son of Blagger, don't know. Automania, I've played before. Bugaboo, um, yep, uh, from... Uh, one of the most infuriatingly uh, difficult games to control. Cytron, I don't know. Wheelie, I've played once or twice. Fall Guy, I know. Uh, Blade Alley, never played that. And Penetrator from Melbourne House. So have a look in there. We've got all the bits and pieces. Seems to be in really good condition. Put that to one side. What's next? Oh, this one. Amusing little title. The Astonishing Adventures of Mr. Weems and the She-Vampires <laughs> from Piranha. I don't know this game at all. I had to um, check it up on YouTube yesterday. It seems to be kind of like a gauntlet sort of stroke dandy um, clone. But um, I'll give that a go later. I'm quite curious about it. Um, yeah, Mr. Weems and the She-Vampires. Mr. Weems looks a bit weedy there. Right, who's next? <clears throat> Avenger, Way of the Tiger 2, or Watty, as uh, your Sinclair used to call it. Um, I had the first Way of the Tiger. I've never had Avenger. I have played it way back in the day on a ahem compilation a friend gave me. But I can't remember an awful lot about it, so um, I'm going to check that one um, out again. I do know it's vastly different to uh, Way of the Tiger. It's uh, again, it's kind of like a, a sort of dandy or druid sort of clone, but with uh, a little ninja uh, chap stuck in it. Right. What do we have next? We've got Nebulous. Now that's a great game. Great game. Very, very difficult though. But um, again, sort of like right up there with uh, most other Houston titles in terms of. Um, quality now i remember that this game actually came out on a version of this came out on the nez or snares i can't remember which one um but it was called something different and for the life of me i cannot recall what it was called um on that console version but nebulous is a, is a great game i'm going to enjoy uh having a look at that later i haven't played it for donkey's years i have world class no just leaderboard um, and I don't think I've ever played a leaderboard game, so I shall give that a whiz. Sp 
Bass Harrier from Elite. Um, now, I'm not a great Space Harrier fan. Um, it just doesn't do it for me. But the Spectrum version of it, I actually think as a technical achievement, is uh, is, is fantastic. So I give the game a lot of credit for, uh, and the program is a lot of credit for having the the, the sort of balls just to, to, to actually do it and, um, and get a decent playable um, game out of it. So I shall give that a blast again later. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix from Martech. Don't know anything about this game. I don't remember it from uh, back in the day. Um, obviously, it's a racing game. Obviously, it's probably a Formula One racing game, um, which I know nothing about. So, again, I shall have to check that out and see what the quality is like. Uh, what else have we got over in the pile? We've got... Again, another one I'm not familiar with, Frostbite from, is that Microgen? Yeah, from Microgen. Scary looking dude on the front there. Uh, don't know anything about it, never even heard of this game. So again, another one I shall check out and see what it's like. We've got... The Spectrum version of Gauntlet. What a great um, arcade conversion that was. Now, I had Gauntlet 2 back in the day. Um, never had the original Gauntlet. So, I've never played this game before. And if it's as good as Gauntlet 2, then I will enjoy playing that. Oh! Stretch round. Well, what else is uh, there here? There's the tube from... Bug bite with this sort of grand slam sort of eyeball symbol in there. Now, I believe this was originally a Quicksilver game. Now, if you are a fan of Queen, this game features in the video to their song "The Invisible Man," um, as do lots of other um, eight-bit uh, games from the likes of Ocean, Imagine, A and F, uh, Dynamic, etc. And if you watch the video to it, it's actually quite fun, sort of like seeing how many eight-bit um, games references you can come up with or you can actually spot there's a load of them the song's a bit ropey and the video's really really cheesy but it's worth it go and check it out and see see what you can uh, find from it i've got a uh, selection of magazine cover tapes which i never used to collect back in the day but looking through these there's some really sort of good games on there this one for example has got um Rebel Star, which I'm told is a fantastic uh, game. I've never played any of the Rebel Star or Laser Squad or Chaos. Well, I've played Chaos and I can never get the hang of it. And I want to get the hang of it because people say it's the best game out for the Spectrum. Um, but I just can't can't work it out. Uh, yeah, various of these um, sort of magazine cover tapes, which represent really sort of um, good value, really. Um, there's a Codemasters one uh, there. Uh, I don't know what that one is. A Nightmare on Robinson Street. Cat Trap. That was the game, I think, that was um, released after a competition in Crash for someone to design a game. And the person that came up with uh, the winning design, the game Cat Trap, was um, done from... Uh, there's this one. Da, da, da. This basically just follows a selection of cover tapes with uh, games such as... How to be a complete bastard, tenth frame. Uh, and what else? Turn a nog, and uh, armor light demo. No, oh, I don't, didn't know armor light came out on the spectrum. Right. So basically, yeah, the, the remainder are just um, these cover tapes. Most of them have got like four games a piece on them. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy checking out um, whether or not they load and giving them a whirl um what's on that one okay i'm on focus rampage oh that was a good game i'll definitely give that a play ice temple i don't know uh, don't know any of those other than rampage so yeah just pop all those up there oh i've got two of the codemasters one Oh, well, never mind. You can never have too many, I suppose. 
Uh, that one. What's on there? Mac 3. Spin Dizzy. Bastard hard game, that is. Um, and one or two others. Uh, and a loose game, Rasputin from Firebird. Loose demo um, of Rasputin from Firebird. And finally, got another um, Sinclair Research um, program, Magnets. I wasn't familiar with these ones. I know, though, you know, people mock the sort of maker chip, etc. But I quite like the fact that I've um, built up a little collection of uh, quite a few of these now. And also, um, Graham supplied me with um, a few issues of uh, Crash Magazine and um, your Sinclair. And I just love even now the sort of Oliver Frey artwork on these um, these crash magazines is just absolutely astounding now I may do a separate video um, going through one of these issues um, because it's been a real blast reading through it, some of the reviews etc and um, strangely on the back what I found really interesting was you remember the Scooby-Doo game that was released and it bore no resemblance to the Scooby-Doo game that was actually proposed by Elite, the sort of interactive um, uh, movie sort of style game. Well, here is an advert for the originally intended um, iteration of that game. And if we can look, we can sort of, if we can get closer and it will focus, see a few screens of what was meant to be. Now, I believe reading, if I, my memory is uh, serving me correctly, re from reading... Um, articles about it etc that it was just too memory intensive and it uh, this particular project never came to fruition and um gargoyle games were then um hired to uh knock up the game that we now know as the scooby-doo um version that was eventually released and you know we've got uh, got another couple there's also a couple of um, your sinclairs as well and sinclair users but just great, great artwork on um, some of those magazines. When's that one from? That's March 1988. We have a Robocop one from November 88. And, oh dear. This one that I first looked at was October 1985. 95p. Look, good lord, I remember paying, paying that much for it. I used to get Crash on um, subscription and I'd pick it up from... My local news agents. Anyway, that was just um, showing you my latest uh, additions to my um, collection, which is woeful in size and number um, compared to some of the ones uh, that you see um, posted on the various forums, etc. But hey-ho, it's growing slowly but steadily. Ooh, uh, missus. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Um, take care of yourselves until next time. Goodbye.